Hey, Danny. What? It's time for another change. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Happy, Happy February! February. Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I have been gone for I think over a month. Thank you for letting Thank you for letting me take time to Okay, let's get into the video. Anyway, it's Valentine's Day as you can see. Well, it's not Valentine's Day, but it's Valentine's Day month. And by the way, this painting right here belongs to a friend of mine named Dee Dee. Named so Dee Dee, if you're watching, you already know, know this, you've seen it. But I just never sent it to her because I'm a really bad friend. So I'm using it for my decor, even though I don't even need it because I just cover it right up. But anyway, so happy Valentine's Day month, February month of the times and places. Okay, so why have I been gone? Oh, it has been a rough time. So Danny and I have both been very sick in January. January was a really bad month. Um, Danny got what we're pretty sure is COVID. So it kind of started off with everyone in my family right after Christmas started to feel really sick. And then a little bit after that, Danny started to develop some other symptoms that were like COVID symptoms and then he got a phone call saying that a buddy of his at work um had covid and that they didn't want anyone to come in if they had any symptoms so danny couldn't go in and and he wouldn't have been able to the next day anyway because he woke up so sick like all of the covid symptoms you can think of like he just was going through all of it we took a home a home test a home covid test um, and it came out negative, but I was talking to my doctor the other day and she was saying that, especially with this new um, variant or whatever, it's really hard to pick it up if it's too early, if you test too early. So she thinks that that's probably what happened with him because he had like all of the symptoms. And plus we found out right after Christmas that my brother-in-law got COVID and he got it really bad, um, like really bad. And he, uh, he was hanging out with us all of Christmas. He kissed me all over my face. It's an inside joke. I'll explain that another time. So anyway, so Danny was really, really sick and I was sick with just some like cold. It just felt like a cold. It wasn't that bad, but it was kind of annoying. And then like a stomach thing, but it wasn't too bad. So it was like me and Danny trying to take care of each other and it was awful. I did my best to take care of him. And um, he just cried every day because he couldn't take care of me at all. And I, I was like, honey, you take care of me every other day of the year. You're fine. <laughs> like, take some time for you, get some rest, play your damn video games and just eat your ice cream and you're fine. Anyway, but he just was miserable. It was the saddest thing. It just, he was just, oh, he just was like this every day. My little muffin it was so miserable every single day and just wanting me to make soup and jello and all the things like he just, He's, is, it, is that bad to say that he's super cute when he's sick? He is. I mean, I'm sorry he was sick, but he's really cute when he's sick. Anyway, my mom was so sweet. She, she made us soup and bought us all kinds of goodies and so sweet, like really was wonderful. And then uh, around the time Danny started to feel a tiny bit better, then I started to get it or what we thought was it. And it hit me very fast and very hard. I literally woke up with a fever. And for me, I normally, uh, my normal temperature is a lot lower than most people. So like for me, a, a fever of 101 is like a high fever. And I had a fever of 103.5 or 103.6 or something. And I am not kidding you. When I tell you, you guys know, I have had excruciating pain in my life, especially before this, before this, the most painful thing I've ever been through is when I had all my teeth removed and I had to get those little metal rods that are like this long, like shoved up into my face and like, it just made me in pain and bloated and just misery for six months. Like it was awful. It was the worst pain I've ever, ever experienced. This was worse. I had the fever 
And because the fever was so high, I literally was in excruciating pain from head to toe. Like there was not one inch of me that did not hurt. I was screaming in pain. Like we went to the ER and I was screaming in pain. So obviously they, you know, drugged me and calmed me down. They took a COVID, they did a COVID test and it came back negative. Um, but uh, they did diagnose me with pneumonia. So I, I don't know if I should say this, but like, I don't think I had pneumonia. Obviously I did, cause you can't deny it. They saw it on the x-ray. If you have fluid in your lungs, you have pneumonia, but it didn't feel like what I thought pneumonia would feel like, I guess maybe, maybe I just shouldn't say that because I don't know. I grew up with a brother who had a lot of, um, who would always get like pneumonia and bronchitis. Is that what it's called? What's the other one called? There's another one but like just issues with and like asthma and stuff like I, I watched him go through a lot of those issues and every time he had it he was like hawking up so much snot and I barely hawked up any I know my chest felt some pressure and some pain but like I don't know I just I don't know I'm sure I did have it but I think I had COVID pneumonia and I think again they tested me a little bit too early before they could detect it um and yeah, and I did talk to my doctor about that later too. And she's like, yeah, so it sounds like, cause I told, cause I lost my taste and smell for a day as well. And I had like all of the other symptoms and everything. So we both have just been so sick. And, um, and then just as soon as I was starting to feel better from that, I got hit with another thing. Um, just a few days ago, we, I, had a very hard day, very painful day where my stomach was um, bloated. It looked like I was eight months pregnant. And I, no matter how much I pooped, no matter how much gas X I took, I tried every, cause listen, we all know I've had so many stomach issues, IBS, gastroparesis, irritable bowel syndrome. Oh wait, that's IBS, that's the same thing. But you know what I mean? Ulcers, acid reflux, like I've dealt with so many stomach issues, but this one felt 10 times worse than any of them. Like it was, I can easily say the worst stomach pain I've ever felt. So, um, so we're pretty sure that it's ulcers. We did go in and, and they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, but um, because of my history with ulcers and all of that, that's what we think it is. The only way they can diagnose that um, is to do an endoscopy, which is where they put you to sleep and they put like a camera down your throat and look at your stomach. Um, and then if you do have ulcers, they prescribe you something um, called, is it caraphate? Is that what it's called, I think? Or at least for me, I don't know if this is for everybody, but for me, um, and that kind of like helps coat the stomach so that things don't hurt it as much until the ulcers heal, if that makes sense. So anyway, so the ER doctor was like, yeah, just go and get, go to the specialist and have them do an endoscopy. Danny and I talked about this because of like money and because of time, his time and, and stuff like that. Instead, what I'm gonna do is call my doctor and ask her if she can just prescribe me some caraphate. And if the caraphate works, and if I feel better, then we know that it's ulcers. And if it doesn't, then I'll go get the endoscopy. So that's the plan right now. The pain has definitely gone down. Like it has not been that bad since that day. So I'm very grateful for that. Like the pain has definitely got down, but it is still there. And there are still like, if I eat acidic things and stuff like that, like I really, really think I have some ulcers in there. That That's what it feels like. So I'll be fine. Everything will be fine. I just, it just has been a rough month and we have not been able to do anything because of it. I haven't been, I have a box of cards that I still have not sent and I just want to take a minute. I am so sorry to the people that have not received their cards yet. I promise like as soon as I have the physical and mental ability to get myself to the post office, because it's going to take a long time because I have a lot to mail. Um, and I, I promise I, I will get to them as soon. I beat myself up about this every day. So don't think I forgot about you. I didn't forget about you your cards are coming just thank you for being patient they're just in a box and i just have been we just have both been miserable just miserable this month so we will get there i promise so thank you for being patient you're really wonderful you're gonna get the cards like a christmas card in february or march or whatever so <laughs> you're welcome Merry right, christmas they're really good at stuff staying on top of stuff oh i forgot to tell you okay so despite and because of 
<laughs> all of that hell that we've been going through this past month. I haven't had any eating disorder behaviors. Now listen, okay, it's not like I was, I, I kind of feel like I cheated a little, except I just feel like the reason I didn't have eating disorder sort of behaviors is because I was too sick to do it. I was too sick to binge and purge. I felt like, like I had no energy. I had zero energy. I still have zero. No, I have a lot of energy today, which is, is, which is why I'm finally filming, by the way. But up until now, it's been really bad and like no energy at all. And if you're bulimic, you know, it takes a lot of energy to binge and purge. And that is my eating disorder of choice. And um, so the fact that I just haven't literally, my, all the sickness hasn't allowed me to, I guess it's like, gotta find the silver linings and find the blessings. And, and I'm grateful for that because my mom always taught me and I think she's right. Maybe you've heard this too. She always taught, taught me that it takes three weeks, 21 days to make or break a habit. And that's true with me. That's always been true with me. So the fact that I have been eating disorder free for over a month now, it's starting to feel now like a habit to not do it. And that, and that I'm starting to like try and develop a different routine. So, um, so I'm really proud of myself, even though it wasn't like, of course I always want to stop my eating disorder, but I wasn't like that focused on it. It just happened to be, but I'll take it, you know, any, any, any way to get started in eating disorder recovery is a good way to get started. If it's it, it, a lot of people don't start for themselves anyway, a lot of people that part doesn't come until later where they realize, okay, this is this is actually for me that I need this. You know, most people start for other people or to make other people happy or to, or because something in their body is wrong and they have to stop but they don't want to type thing. You know what I mean? So any start is a good start. So I'll take it and I'm proud of it. And um, it's given me a good little head start, I guess, into the rest of my journey. So I've been really blue, not like the color, but like the sadness. I will be talking to my doctor about maybe upping my depression meds. By the way, if you feel comfortable sharing, um, let me know in the comments below what depression slash anxiety meds you take. And again, only if you feel comfortable. That's very personal information, so you totally don't have to. Just if anyone out there is comfortable sharing, um, I could always run that past my doctor next time I see her and I don't know, maybe I just need to switch it up or something. I'm on Prozac right now and I take 80 milligrams a day. So please just let me know in the comments below. What do you take for depression, anxiety? What's worked for you? What hasn't? I've tried so many, it's unreal, but I'm willing to try one again because I just feel sad and it could be circumstantial. It's been a very gloomy month in our home. We've both been very sick and um, I, have I was really thrown off when everyone got sick and we had to cancel our New Year's plans with my family because that's what I look forward to all year like I cannot wait for Christmas and New Year's every year because it's just the best time because Christmas obviously I'm with my family but half of my family isn't there and they come down for New Year's and and up for New Year's they come from opposite directions and meet here for New Year's and that's when I get to see all my other nieces and nephews, get them the gifts I've made for them and we play family games and do traditions and music and we have king crab and Rob had to freeze the crab and we're hoping it'll stay good until the next time we are going to get together. I think March is the next time is what we're going to shoot for to redo the New Year's Eve stuff so um, that did kind of damper my mood because you know, you get your hopes up all year for something and you know that that's the thing that you just get so excited for every year and then it just doesn't happen. But everyone was sick, not even just Sean, like everyone else got sick. Um, no one else that I know of in my family got COVID, I don't think that I know of anyway. But everyone else also was really sick, throwing up and, and other symptoms and stuff. So like right after Christmas. So they just had to cancel it. Like it wasn't just us that was the reason like everyone was sick so we just had to cancel it so that was a bummer so also i wanted to um i made a list 
of New Year's goals or New Year's tries is what I like to call them or I used to call them that. Do I still call them that? I don't know. Um, but a while ago, I made videos about New Year's tries because I don't like the idea of like, well, I like the idea of goals and like um, resolutions and stuff, but sometimes I'm just like, well, but that's how I always feel. Like, I don't want to just set goals in January, but but at the same, and also that puts extra pressure on you and stuff. So years ago, I started calling it my New Year's tries. Like, I will try to do this and try to do that. This is what I want to try and do and what I hope I can do and da 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 instead of, you know, working myself up. So I made this huge list that I've been making for over a month. I wrote it down on a piece of paper and um, I've just been making this huge list and um, I lost it. <clears throat> And ironically enough, on the list, one of the resolutions, one of the goals was to stop making lists on paper because I lose it. One of the goals was to start making lists in my phone because I lose paper. And now I can't find the piece of paper with all of my goals on it. Another goal, I do remember some of them though. So another one was um, I wanted to make my New Year's tries video the first week of January. So, so, so far, the two things that I can remember that were on the list, I've already failed at. <laughs> Just kidding, there's more that I remember, but let me know if you still want to know what that list is. I just am gonna have to take some time and think it through. I've all night tonight, I've been looking everywhere for this list and I can't find it and I'm so frustrated because I was gonna put it in this video. Um, so let me know if, if you wanted that bad, I'll, I'll do it. And if nobody really cares, I probably won't do it. I mean, there are, you know, the normal, the, the, the goals that I always have, like stopping my eating disorder and stuff like that. But I had a lot more things in mind that were more realistic and stuff like that. So let me know if you want to know about that. And if not, I understand. So I've been thinking about my channel moving forward also. Last year, I said that in the beginning of this year, I wanted to change my channel and I wanted to change the name to like Shani Banani or something else that's just more broad and not just eating disorders. However, the more I've thought about it and the more I've thought about it, I've decided to not change it yet. Maybe sometime. I'm not in a place, a good place to do that right now. I don't think it's a good time for me to be changing anything. I am already, I have a lot on my plate going on in my personal life and um, in my home and my family and um, stuff like that. And right now I just don't want to have to deal with the stress of like completely changing my channel. Um, and plus I kind of want to start talking about things I used to talk about. I want to talk more about my experiences with eating disorders and, and helping other people feel not alone and share your guys' stories. By the way, I'd love to bring that series back where you guys send in your stories and I read them on here. Um, I don't know, I just have gotten that like bug in me again that I kind of want to go back to re really doing better at that and kind of like do the type of videos that I did when I first started YouTube type thing. I don't know, these are just thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts about my channel. Um, but one thing that I will say for sure is that, and I hate this, you guys probably won't, you guys probably will be fine with it, but I hate this, um, is that I'm only going to promise a new video once a week and that's it. Um, I just, in the past, I take breaks and then I come back and I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna post every other day or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday and Thursday or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, one, one video a week, I know I'm confident in, is that not recording? Oh, it is, oh. <gasps> I would have cried for sure. I just need to be more realistic and realistically, I know that I can guarantee one video a week. I want to do more than that. So stay tuned, but I will guarantee one video a week. I haven't even decided what day yet. I don't know, I'll let you know. when. And my next video, if you want me to do my New Year's tries video, I'll let you know whenever that video is posted. Maybe that will be the day that I'll do every week. I don't know. Like I wasn't even gonna film yet, but I feel bad because I've made you guys wait too long and like, and I made a community post on my channel saying I'd be back February 1st. And obviously that didn't happen, but that's because 
I had this stomach emergency thing and so um yeah and so I at least want to come on here at least like let you know how we've been doing and stuff and and um I've got some videos that I'm planning coming soon probably sometime this month I've got a big video coming a really big one and it's um it's another day in the life video and this is one I've been do wanting to do for years. And I've probably even like said, told you guys this. I'm sure I've said to you, oh, I wanna do another day in life video. I have my day in life of bulimic video and I have my day in life of an overweight or atypical anorexic video. This is gonna be a new type of day in the life. I'm not gonna tell you what it is till it happens. Um, and this, and the idea that I have for it, I've had in my head for years and just haven't dared to to just do it. So um, I think I'm gonna, that's gonna be my my goal coming up. So watch for that in the next month, hopefully. And um, I've also got some other video ideas that I wanna talk to you guys about. And then I also, from here on out, um, I want one of my goals and one of my tries or whatever was that I really, 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 really want, and I'm not gonna be ashamed of it anymore, I really want to hit 100,000 subscribers. I've been on YouTube for almost seven years now, and I want to hit 100,000 subscribers, so I'm gonna. So, will you guys help me with this? Like, it is my goal that by the end of this year, we can reach 100,000 subscribers on this channel. So I'll do everything I can within reason. It's been a long time since I've cared about subscribers, and, and I want to again, and there's nothing wrong with that. So... Here we go. Hashtag trip pattern all the way to the the new the goal of hundred journey hashtag journey to a hundred thousand subscribers. So from here on out, you're gonna hear me like begging people, begging you guys and everyone to subscribe. I'm gonna ask you. I'll, I'll ask those of you that want to, if there's a video of mine that you liked, please share it. Please tell your friends to subscribe, all that stuff. Like, I really wanna work on growing our channel more. And it's not just for the plaque, by the way, but that's a big part of it. Like, I've been working on YouTube for years and I have put in a lot of work over the years and um, not gotten paid or anything. Like, I've never been in this for money. I've always been in this to find more people to, educate, to help, and also to support me. Um, and also just to show that it's okay to talk about mental health and eating disorders and like to physically show it and to physically show that, try and show that it's not scary, you know, cause I say this all the time, eating disorders thrive off of secrecy and loneliness. So if we can bring them out of the dark, we're gonna do that. And so, oh, I wanna reach more people and let more people know that it's safe and it's okay and it's healthy to talk about it. And don't let yourself be just living in that sickness. Like I know how that is. I've been that way my whole life and I can't have my own kids. And so I'll spend the rest of my life trying to help other young people and older people out there to realize why it's such a bad idea to go down this road by showing all the consequences that I've gone through and stuff. So, you know, you know the whole thing. So there's a lot coming up um, and one video a week for sure, but obviously I wanna do more than that. So just whatever I can each week, week to week, but for sure one a week. And then if I feel like I can do more than I will. So, all right, is that all? I think that's it for now. So thank you again for being patient. I love you guys. Please leave comments. That helps the algorithm. Give this video a thumbs up. Do all the things. And um, I will see you guys soon for another video. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. And I haven't washed my hair in five weeks. So thank you for watching. Bye. I also haven't sung in a while. Sorry. Okay, bye.